Okay, once you have successfully installed the WAM server in your PC, you can run this um, index file in your default browser. To open up the localhost page here, localhost slash index.php, you just return to your icon here and click it. Click localhost and this page will be open in your default browser. So this page is actually located inside your own PC. Take a look at your windows inside the C drive. So you'll notice the WAMP folder has been created and inside the folder are all the files required for your Apache, uh, PHP and MySQL client to run properly. The file localhost slash index.php is actually here. If I open it up using my notepad, okay, so these are all the code that created this page, as you can see here. So, other than that, if you browse your folder, Apache, the PHP, and MySQL is installed here. So the package is a shortcut for you to install all these things together without reconfiguring it um, separately. Okay, so any file that you want to run, um, execute in your PC, must be placed inside the www folder. Click it, and so Try to create your own folder here, your own project folder. Let's say first page. So we're going to create our first PHP page um, in this folder. In your C drive, um, WAM subfolder, www subfolder, and the first page subfolder. So as usual, open up notepad and firstly let's save the empty file file save as choose um, all file in the save as type option and make sure you browse to your C drive in the first page subfolder so here is C WAMPS folder, www folder, and first page folder. Okay, so the option is correct, and let's say we save it as test now dot php. Click save, and our test now php file has been created. So let's try to code our first php output and you type in php and you type in echo and a double quote and the semicolon so let's try typing hello world save the php file and return to your localhost page so you can either type in http localhost and enter like this or you can type in the url manually so as a shortcut WAM has provided you the shortcut down here okay you notice that the folder that you created previously um, is linked here you click the link and it will list down the file contained inside your first page folder. So this is testnow.php as you can see here. Testnow.php But you cannot directly open it from here. You need to access it from the browser by typing the Z URL in the browser. So you click this and your output is displayed exactly the way you type it 
in itasna.php. So pay attention to the URL in your browser. It's localhost slash first page slash test now. Okay. So this is actually our domain and this is the directory or our folder path and this is the file. 